hands-on with iOS 18 Developer Beta 5. So iOS 18 Developer Beta 5 was released yesterday and with it came several new features to talk about. Obviously the big outstanding feature is the ability to so-called hide distracting items within Safari. So with Safari open to a website, you simply tap the reader button and then you tap where it says hide distracting items like that. And now you're going to be put into hide mode. So basically anything that is currently on this screen, you can actually hide that particular HTML element. So I can simply tap this advertisement and then tap it again. And you get that slick animation that reminds everyone of a Marvel supervillain. Now you can cancel the changes and revert everything back to how it was, but let's try it again. So we're going to tap hide distracting items. Now we're in hide mode, simply tap, tap again. And it basically is like snapping your fingers and it just dissolves like that into thin air. And this doesn't just affect advertisements. It's literally any element on the page. So it could be a paragraph. It could be a title. It could be an image and you can remove that and really just basically destroy the layout of whatever website you're on. I can even basically uh, whisk away a YouTube video in bed like that. So literally any element on screen you can get rid of with just the tap of a button. Now, obviously Apple has not shipped this publicly. They are currently testing it in beta. So lot of, lots of changes could happen between now and when it's actually shipped to customers. But what do you guys think? I think it's interesting to say the least that Apple is embedding what is basically an ad blocker directly in Safari. Apple may not be advertising it as an ad blocker, but that's kind of what it does. Now, the animation that you saw, that sort of, like I said, Thanos animation is not a new animation. Like we've seen that in other apps, like this one is Telegram. And when you delete a message in Telegram, you can see that similar animation. So that's not new. And neither is the ability to hide elements on a page. That is not new either. That's something we've been able to do for a very long time with in inspectors, but Arc in particular makes it super easy to do this via their zap feature. You can actually go in, as you can see here, this is the desktop version of Arc browser and completely eliminate various elements. So it appears that Apple was definitely inspired by some of the other apps that are already out there. What do you guys think? So let's talk about some of the other features in iOS 18 developer beta five. This is one I may have missed in the previous beta, but now when you go into edit mode on the home screen, you can actually go into edit pages via that menu in the upper left hand corner as well. Of course, you can just tap the page dots while in edit mode to get to the page editor also. But here's what I really wanted to show you guys. So when I go back into edit and go to customize, when I go into dark mode, notice the new maps app, dark icon looks quite a bit different than the dark icon on the previous beta. This is what it looked like. You have a lot more color there here on iOS 18 developer beta five. It's a lot simpler. There's less colors and I prefer it. Now Control Center got a whole bunch of changes in Beta 5 and it mainly has to do with the glyph icons all throughout the Control Center. Those glyph icons, as you can see, have been updated slightly in Developer Beta 5. You can see here the low power mode icon, a little bit different than the previous low power mode icon. And the same thing goes for things like a screen recording, the remote is larger, and there's a whole bunch of other little subtle changes, some outright different icon designs, but mostly just bolder uh, lines for those icons and little tweaks here and there. But let's go through and show you just a couple of noticeable changes. Cellular data gets a, a brand new icon, completely different than the previous version. Also saw that screen mirroring is updated. Headphone accommodations, previously that was actually a glyph of a headphone, now it's an ear in vehicle motion cues actually shows a vehicle now. So like I said, not huge changes, but a lot of subtle changes in the control center. Also shout out to the updated now plane interface in control center with the gradient. Let's go to settings and let's go down to privacy and security. If you scroll all the way down, you're going to notice something new here. Stolen device protection is now listed here underneath the security heading. It's the same stolen device protection uh, setting panel that you find 
in the face ID and security settings. Same thing, just in another location. I don't know if Apple will remove it from here or they'll just keep it in both places. Now the Photos app got tons of little changes here. The biggest, the carousel is now gone. So you can no longer swipe between the various sections, which was super confusing in the first place. I'm super glad that that is gone. Another thing you'll notice is that in your all photos view, as you can see here, you have more photos that you can view. Actually, there's an extra line of photos. So it's basically just pushed down a little bit to show a little bit more. And sorry, folks, I am struggling here out of breath post COVID, but uh, just bear with me if you will. Now, recent days also got an update. First and foremost, there is now the save today or the recently saved items. So anything you save today is going to appear right there within recent days in that first box. And also you'll see the new symmetrical square designs devoid of the white border that was previously around those. Some of the elements still do have white borders, but recent does not. And you'll see a whole new list of squared off uh, blocks for your recent days here when you tap to expand. Here's another little change. You'll find the avatar is pushed down a little bit. Now it's a little bit more balanced. Previously it was right near the top, which looked weird. And one last little change to note, if you go into Wi-Fi settings, you're gonna notice that the private Mac address setting gets its own dedicated section in iOS 18 developer beta five. Now you can choose between three options, off, fixed, or rotating private Wi-Fi address. So folks, that is a look at iOS 18 developer beta five. What are your thoughts on it? Let me know down below, but I also want to show you these new wallpapers that we have for our members. If you are a nine to five Mac YouTube channel member, check out the link in the community section for your download this month. So ladies and gentlemen, that is a look at iOS 18 developer beta five. What are your thoughts? Let me know down below in the comment section and be sure to subscribe and check out these other videos that you might like. This is Jeff with nine to five Mac.